Here's another one of those $50 Android TV boxes. I'll be testing it and see what it can do. So keep watching and we will find out. I received my new Android box today. Now this one is a pure Android. It's not Android TV OS version. It is pure Android. It comes with the device itself. It comes with a very basic remote. It comes with a 5 volt, 2 amp power supply. It comes with a short HDMI cable. Then it comes with the user manual. The manual has five different uh, languages. That's the manual. Here's the box that it comes in. Okay, here's the top of the box. It's an HK1 R box. On the front, there will be a display when we put power on it. On this side, there is nothing. On the rear, you have a gigabit ethernet port, an AV port, HDMI port, and a fiber optic cable port, and your power supply port. On this side, you have a USB 3 port and a USB 2 port. And here is the bottom. Now this box is supporting the S905 X4 CPU with 4 gig of RAMs and 32 gig of storage. All right, let's go connect it to the TV and see how it performs. Okay, here is the boot up screen. It's booting up right now. First boot up. It's booting up very quickly. Our box, HK1. Boy, did not take long at all. So we'll take a look and see what else it's got to offer. Okay, let's take a look at the settings and see what we've got there. Okay, let's change the name of it, I guess. Okay, first thing we're going to take a look at is the device preferences. About. Android 11. Okay, that's Android 11. Okay, it shows security patch on August 5th, 2021, and this particular OS build was uh, December, looks like December 21st, 2021, so that's the uh, firmware. Okay, let's take a look at the boot, Bluetooth. Okay, it's finding all kinds of my Bluetooth devices. So, at this point in time, I'm going to disable that. Date and time, language, they've got a lot of different languages, so they support pretty much every country, every language, so that's what it does there. Keyboard, display and sound. Screen resolution. Okay, now that one is 4K at 60 frames per second. Color space is YCB CR422 12 bit. HDR pol policy has got HDR adaptive. Always HDR or adaptive. CEC function. One play, device power auto off. I don't change language. Under the sound system, we have advanced. We're not going to use the SPDIF, so I'm going to disable that. Select the formats. Automatically use the device reported. Or none. Use sur Never use surround sound. So it does not give you an option on what uh, different uh, audio codecs it supports. It just says automatic. Storage. Total RAM, 4,096. Internal storage, 32 gigabyte. Energy saver, now this is a fairly new option. That may come with uh, Android 11. Turn off display after 24 hours or never. So you got the different options right there to turn the display off. And there's your developer options. Enable the developer, that's already enabled when I got it. Okay. These are some of the functions you have under the developer, developer's options. 
A lot of options right there. Okay, now you got location accessibility. So those are all your options that's available on this device. Okay, we're at the Google Play screen. Let's see if we have any updates. Six updates. Update all. Okay, let's take a quick peep, peek at the apps that are installed on this box. Okay, you got Air Screen, you got Chrome, AK Pure, Disney Plus. I don't know if that'll even run, but I do not subscribe to that. Media Center, KDMC, Nova Media Player, Netflix. Now, since this is not a uh, Google certified device, nor is it a Netflix certified device, if it plays Netflix, it will be in DVD quality, which is pretty good on these uh, new TVs because they upscale pretty doggone good. So that's what we have right now that came installed from the factory. Okay, here's Netflix playing at 4, 854 and 480. So that is DVD quality. So Netflix is playing on this device. Now, if you notice at the top, that kills the processes that are running in the background. That is a very neat app that it uses. So that's great. When I was going through the settings, I'm not sure I checked on more settings. So we'll check on that right now. Root. Let's see if it's got root. Okay, it does have root installed, so we will download an app later and verify if it does indeed have root. Hardware monitor. This is a very slick deal right there. So you can uh, monitor all your processes that are going on on this box. I do not subscribe to Prime Video, so I cannot test that. KMC. We'll take a look at that. Now that is Cody. Now this is running Vody, uh, Cody version 18.9, compiled in December 23rd, 2020. So I'll go ahead and test this one for a while before I update to the latest one. Okay, for audio codecs, it shows that this device supports the AC3, which is Dolby Digital. It supports the EAC3, which is Dolby Digital Plus. And it also supports the DTS audio codec. So it's got a lot of uh, audio codecs that it does support. Now this device supports the Google or Chrome browser. Now I'm using my GS, G30S Air Mouse Remote. It's a very slick remote. So that's what I'm using right now. But this is the app, Chrome app, running on this box. What's the difference between Google TV and Android TV? Okay, that is the regular Android TV right there. And here is the Google TV. So basically it's a different interface for the... Uh, uh, Okay, here is YouTube playing a 4K video at 30 frames per second. The video is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful video. Now I'm running this on a Vizio 4K HDR TV. Now let's look for a 4K 60 frames. 4K video, 60 frames per second. All right, we'll test this one. Zero drop frames. Now that is 4K at 60 frames per second. Again, the picture is outstanding. So this does a very good job on 4K. Okay, it's playing with HDR10. If you notice right here, this is the information from my TV. A visual TV and it is playing at H with HDR 10 video codec. Okay now I'm gonna search for some of the apps that I use. HD Home Run. 
So I'm going to install that. Now I subscribed to Paramount Plus. That came free with my cable, cable subscription. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. And it doesn't take long to install these apps. They're pretty fast. This uh, M-Logic S905X4 is a very fast CPU processor. Again, I've got Apple TV that came free with my uh, cellular data. Cellular, I believe. I don't use it. Really don't like the interface. Okay, we'll go ahead and install Plex and see how that plays. Now we are going to test some video and audio clips using Kodi, and this will tell you what this uh, box is capable of doing. So, all right, we're going to start playing some of these video clips, and I'll show you what it can do. Okay, first one is a 1080i. We're going to see if that plays. Okay, now that is a <coughs> fairly low bit rate. It's a 12 mega bits per second bit rate, no drop frames, no skip frames. So that plays very well. So that is a 1080i interlaced video. Okay, this is an M2TS file and is testing the Dolby Atmos True HD, which this box does not support. Okay, it's a fairly low bit rate, 18 megabits per second, and it is skipping some frames. So, but that is testing the Atmos, which this device does not support. Now, here is a 4K file. Now, it is a TS file. So, we'll t see what that does. Got awesome graphics, beautiful graphics. Again, no drop, no skip frames, and it's a 48, 52 megabits per second. So it's about a medium range HD uh, video, 4K video. It's hardware decoded, 34, what, 3840 by 2160. Okay, here is a 4K MP4 file, so we're going to see how that does. It's an HDR, HDR10. Now this is running 70 megabits per second, so it's a fairly high bit rate, but it's skipping a lot of files. So it'd be watchable, but you will see a little jerkiness in it. So I would say it does not play that one very well, but that was an MP4 file. Now next, we're gonna try the VC1 video codec file. Now, I have not found one single Amlogic box that will play the VC1 file without lots of drop frames. So let's see if this box is any different. Skip seven, not too bad. Hardware decoding, VC1. So that was not too bad. Well, there we go. Skipping a lot of fun. So I would say this does not play VC1. Now here's something interesting. I tried to play a movie on Voodoo, and I'll show you what it comes up with. Ineligible device detected. Playing content is not supported on rooted devices. Try, try a different one. So we'll see if it's rooted. Okay, using the root checker, it says, sorry, root access is not properly installed. So what it's telling me is that it is not rooted. However, Voodoo thinks it's rooted. So let's go back to the settings. Okay, let's take a look and see what it says about root. Install root. It was installed from the factory, but I uninstalled it and it still showed up as rooted. So let me turn it back on and I'll reboot it and see if it shows rooted. Okay, let's verify that it is rooted. All 
I don't care. Device is properly rooted. So you can root this device, but you cannot unroot it to where Voodoo could see that it's unrooted. So that's what you got. Okay, here's MB. This is what the interface looks like. So that's MB. There's the TV guide. So that's MB. Here's the HD home run. Discover shows movies. Now these are from the over-the-air antenna. So that's what this is. It, it picks up all the TV shows and movies that's coming in over the air free. Okay, Cody, I've already showed you Cody. Netflix works okay. Now let's take a look at Paramount Plus. Let's click on that. Again, this is Paramount Plus. Watch now. I can only keep it on there a second or two. Okay, it's loading up. Now I'm using Ethernet. I am not using Wi Fi. I'm using Ethernet. Okay, that's it. That's playing right now. Okay, here is the Plex interface for the TV guide. So that's what that looks like. So again, this is using my uh, data from the antenna on the roof. So this is over the air TV. Record a TV show. I'll give you just a sample of what is available over the air. Free TV, MacGyver, The Odd Couple, News, a movie, Adam 12, Roseanne, More News, Catwoman, According to Jim, Live Court TV, Couples with the Cutlers, Welcome Back Cotter, that's Antenna TV, CS Crime Scene, that's Mystery Channel, NCIS, Los Angeles, Court TV again, The Life of Legend of Wyatt Earp, TV Show, Swamp People, Storage Wars. So what more could you want? You've got everything that you can watch. Free, over the air. You've got to have an antenna on the roof, and I'm using HD Home Run tuners, so it grabs the information from those tuners. So anyway, that is Plex. Okay, this is the Apple TV app, and again, that came with my uh, cellular phone service. And it does play, but I can't play very long, so. That's what it look, interface looks like, and it's starting to play. Okay, that's it. That's what it does. So Apple TV does play. Okay, these are some of the apps that are available. And here's the games that are available on this device. So it's got pretty much everything you can want. That's the difference between this and the Android TV, TV OS devices. This has a lot more uh, apps for it. But again, this is like the uh, touchscreen version on your cellular phone. But it has been modified to work on a large screen TV. And right now you're watching it on my 65-inch Vizio 4K TV that supports Dolby Vision. But this box does not support Dolby Vision, but it does support uh, uh, DH, HDR10 and 10+. So in summation, I say this for $50, this is a very nice device. It does pretty much everything you want. And I especially like the browser, the Chrome browser. I really like that because I can sit here and surf the web just like I can on my computer at my desk. So this is a pretty neat little box. Thank you.